What will it cost you to subscribe and like BBS channel? What will it cost you to subscribe and like BBS channel? You can subscribe, you can comment, you can like all the posts you see there. You can subscribe, you can comment, you can like all the posts you see there. Oh, what will it cost you? What will it cost you to subscribe to BBO's channel? What will it cost you? What will it cost you? What will it cost you to subscribe to BBO's channel? Hey, Ida Lingada, Eddie Vida, and Ida Levadi. You can subscribe, you can comment, you can like all the posts you see there. You can subscribe, you can comment, you can like all the posts you see there. What will it cost you to subscribe and like BBS channel? Subscribe and like me. Oh, ay 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 ay. Subscribe and like me. Ay 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 ay. Subscribe and like me. You did not leave it. Every guy, every guy, every man, every guy, every man. destroy yes. and frustrate all yes. the plans of yes. the yes. devil yes. 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 and send confusion yes. into the camp of the wicked Amen. in the oh, name of Jesus we ask that we frustrate all the plans of the enemies in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus of the enemies over this family in the name of Jesus and set confusion to the camp of the camp of the enemy in the name of Jesus oh in the name of Jesus let them be confused let them be confused Darling, let me check on the children. Okay, no problem. Please put on the light on your All right, sir. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh,
Have I not warned you? Never to intervene matters that do not concern you. Be any more. I know it is a matter that I don't have solution to. Even before I came here. But allow me to do this work. Mohuru, you see, my seven children, they are at home. I've not paid their school fees this year. Yes, they are all at home with their mothers as I'm talking to you. Please, Mohuru, allow me to collect the money for this work and I will go. In fact, I am ready to add to their afflictions. If that is what you want, Mohuru, please. No. No way. The man we are talking about do not have up to three days to live. You are living now, and you must live now. Go, my very people, do me. Go, kill your wall, Ellen. Buy it. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Can, can, can you allow me to eat this meat? If you don't leave me, if you don't for me, if you don't leave me, if you don't leave me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that is a warning slap. Ah, for arguing with Mahuru, Mata Musa, you couldn't walk back away. If you say one more thing, one more thing, you go blind and dead at the same time. Ah, Mahuru Mata Musa, Alokulu Kibe. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Umadi umuri jekumu halo. Onorebu. Onorebu. Onorebu molo. Molo bonemi bade limele kilo. Mo se prophet mo bade limele kilo. Onorebu. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Thank you, sir. I'm so sorry for your plight. You know, I know your husband um, was a very good man. I I understand the school fees part, so please uh, drop your account with Samson at the gate. By next week, I will send the school fees to you. Um, Thank you so much, sir. I welcome. really appreciate, sir. You're welcome. The problem is that tomorrow is our final exam. The school said, if anyone does not pay, should not be allowed to write the exam. Please, sir. There's plenty of money in this house. But you have labored so much on this your daughter. And I don't want you to use the type of money I have now to pay your daughter's school fees. Holy who? It is not good for her destiny. You may not understand what I'm doing now, but uh, I, I promise you, it will be sorted. Mm -hmm. Um, I will send the school fees next week when my salary is paid. In the meantime, I will call the school tomorrow. Uh, she will be allowed to write the exam. Ah, thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, God bless you, sir. Down. Thank you, the sir. The owner of the school is one of my boys. Thank you, sir. It's okay. God bless you. Hi, Georgie. You're for me, follow me. Anything to be a better, would to be a better. Anything to be a better, would to be a better. Look to be a better.
Alouya gato gaga. Mouté. Mousson. Si nous poussons. Fou de diameta. Lai je. Lai sou lai wo. Kile ni ki inche tu mi o che. Mouro. E ni ki insou si bo di oku. Ni o. Mouché. Ti dure te fè so le mi da horo. Why are you killing my children? Of what use is wealth and riches without peace of mind? The price. And the price. To get the price, you need to pay the price. And the price you have to pay to contest for the governorship election of the state is greater than what you got here. I told you I don't want to become governor. Say that, Donny. I said I don't want to become governor. Is it by force? Be quiet and listen. You must be interested. You must. You are the only man in this state that understands our terrain. And we are now carrying out our activities in the dark world without any angels. But with you sitting at the highest position in this state, we are sure of our monthly allocation of blood to accidents due to bad rules, assassinations, and, and other rituals. Now tell me, Badu, who else in this state can do that for us? Apart from you, who else? Who else can get us the blood of babies to drink every month? Senator Finn Folua is more qualified than myself. Let him do it. He has everything it takes to, to take our state to, to, to abundant prosperity. It is not about qualification. Can't you get it, Badru? It is about the man with the heart of a stone. The man who will pay the basis to us and do our bidding no matter what people say. The man who will turn them here to the loud cry of the citizen. When he follows allegiance is to the God of heaven and common man on the streets. That is not what we want, Badru. We want an artless soul like you. Is that the reason why you keep slapping me every night? That you are bent on paralyzing me at all costs? You have refused to allow me to take your wife and other children as sacrifices for the coming election. I have given you permission to take my wife and my children. Just leave me alone. I don't want to die now. Adaba, Ukidi. I have come several times to take them. But there is a strange power that is stopping me from taking them. You have shielded them with a strange power. Strange power? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. But you do. There is a man in white with a flaming sword in this house. That is stopping me from taking your wife and other children. But this man must leave your house. If you don't tell him to leave, you will die in three days' time. Don't kill me, Bad Straight man, right? Uh, please, please give me a few days. Uh, give me a few days. I'll make them accessible to you. Please give me some more time. The time cannot be extended. If I don't get at least one of them, one of them, you die in three days' time. And by the way, when last did you sleep with your secret wife? A one kiss I will need to do a I still, I still did yesterday at um, the Himalayas. <laughs> Very good. No ritual will be accepted. If you miss anything that you did last week, every Tuesday and Friday must pass by without sleeping. 
with a one piece and with me to wear home. Because she holds the key to your prosperity. That every darkness is going to go into light in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that there will be light. Hey. So you are the ones for making trouble in this house, eh? Ah, <laughs> mommy Tolu, mommy, you should know better. You should know better. You are the ones. So what has been happening here? What has, so you, you see how the gods to invite the gates man inside my house? Wow, daddy. Jesus has stepped into this house and he has made all the difference. All our bad dreams and, and nightmares, they've all gone. Shut up your mouth! Shut up and let him out. All your bad dreams have gone. Mine has increased. Eh? Is that not what happened? Daddy, who in my is just trying to... My friend, if you don't shut up there, if I descend on you, it will, it will seem as if caterpillar descend on you. Are, are, are you okay? All of you, go to your rooms right now. Are you deaf? Samson, out! So, so, you are the ones causing issues, eh? eh? This is what I've been doing in this house. You've been, been causing all manner of trouble, all manner of nonsense in this house, eh? But why are you shouting at us, darling? How is our simple prayer endangering your life? And when has it become a crime to pray to God? After all, we've done several rituals in this house and called different people to help us and nothing has worked. So why can't we allow Jesus? Why can't we call on Jesus to help us? So you are calling Jesus, Abby? You are calling Jesus. It's not the same Jesus that, that, that Prophet Eliminate called in this house and he couldn't even finish eating the food we prepared for him before, before running the rest of this house? No. It's not the same Jesus. And that man is not a man of God. He's a fake prophet. He's not from God. Oh, yes. I see. I see. Now, will you please go inside the room before you continue to endanger my life? Yeah, go. Hey, boy. The room. Now. Before I open my eyes. Go. Go. Now. 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 Go. Go. Nonsense. All of them there, shouting, shouting, whispering, it's not nonsense. Because the problems are all up and down. And how did you get in here? Stupid question. 
<laughs> Interesting. See, for your information, my father may be the priest of this house, but I'm the priest of this room, and you are not permitted to do anything in this place. <laughs> you lack respect and common sense. If not, you would have known that you were not supposed to come in here without permission. See, if you don't leave this place now, the same way you came in, I'm going to call down fire on your head. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, we are just serving the normal conversation and you want to call down fire. Oh, little here now, is that what your Bible taught you? Did your Bible not say you should love your enemy? You are not an enemy. You are a demon. Get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus! What happened? What happened? What happened? I saw, I saw something that looks like a masquerade over there. A masquerade? But then, yes. But then I called Jesus and it disappeared. Jesus. It was also in my room. It was in your room? Yes. Jesus is in charge. Jesus is in charge. The name of the Lord is a strong power. Yes. The righteous rules yes. into it and, yes. and they are safe. Yes. No one can bring any charge against the elect of God. The one that watches over us does not sleep or slumber. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, Father God, I come to you, God. Father, I call upon your name because you are the mighty one. Lord, I call your name, O God. Father, Lord. Did I not warn you never, never to disturb my children? No, no. It's the third time you eat your own flesh and be drunk with your own blood as unto a sweet wine. I'm sorry, sir. I will never do that again. I will never try that again. Of death. Come out in the name of Jesus. Eh, eh, eh. What are you staring at? What are you looking at? Am I a television? What's your problem? Hey, everybody, come back to your room now. Are you deaf? I said, back to your rooms. Get out. You're staring at me from a television. What are you looking at? You want to kill me? Nonsense. I've seen, I've seen you've not seen anybody, anybody before in your life. Just, just, just chair, just, just looking. You all lack activity in this house. This is activity. Oh, I'm so famished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Who is this? Hey, this is Antonio. Longest time, but now this must be a wrong number. Because the only Antonio that I know does not stay in this country. Oh yes. The only Antonio you know lives in Brazil, right? 
What if I tell you that he came into town yesterday and he wants to see you? Uh, Antonio? Antonio? Is that you? Antonio Catastrophe. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I've been talking. That voice. Ah, uh, no, I can't miss that voice. Ah, uh -uh. Antonio. When did you arrive? Where are you? Let me come and pick you. Let me come and pick you. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be putting up in your house tonight. That is, if you don't mind. Ah, uh, you didn't even ask for my address. How will you get to my house? Ah, uh -huh. big shot politician. Who doesn't know where you big boys live in this town? Come on, just send me the Google map so that I don't miss the exact house. Okay, and this is my WhatsApp number. Okay, okay, okay. No, wala. No, wala. I'll do that right away. Right away. Ah, ah Antonio Catastrophe. Darling, Antonio is coming to our house. He wants to spend the night. Hey. Antonio? Hey. <laughs> hmm. That your crime mate in the university you always talk about? Hey, I can't believe you remember. Coming to spend the night in this house. 30 years ago. <sighs> 30 years ago. <laughs> I hope he will not bring his catastrophe into this house. Who are you? I'm not here to answer questions, but I've come to let you know why you are here at this time. The message is urgent, Antonio. But I'm here to visit an old friend, that's all. No, you are here to fight a battle and to set the captive free. It is very urgent, so you can't afford to sleep tonight. Oh gosh. But I'm tired. 
I've been out all day attending meetings on this um, scholarship award stuff. Please, can't I sleep just a little bit, please? No problem. If you insist. <sighs> Thank you. Just that by the time you wake up, your friend will have been dead. I reject it in Jesus' name. Good confession that lacks power without prayer. God does nothing except in answer to prayers. If you don't invest in prayers now, there will be a harvest of sorrow and death that will befall this family. All times are not equal. Do you even know what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2? Proverbs 26 2. Sorry, I can't remember now. Okay. Like a fleeting sparrow, like a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not alight. Okay, so what has that got to do with what you want me to do? A curse without cause shall not alight. But this family is under a curse with a curse and it has alighted heavily on them. Hmm. That's the music they are dancing to at the moment. Three children have died within the space of two years already. And your friend Badru is the next. He dies tonight if you do nothing. I brought you all the way from Brazil to stop this death. And in answer to the prayers of his wife, his two children, and his gate man. This is very serious. So what do I do now? You and Badru raped many girls in the campus as court boys in your university days. You, however, have received forgiveness when you repented and asked Jesus to show you mercy and be your Lord and Savior. But your friend has not. In fact, he has become worse. He sacrificed three girls on the altar of the devil to become a member of the house of reps. Jesus. Not only that, he drank human blood for seven days and ah. slept inside a coffin for three days and three nights. Not only that, he has a spirit wife that he sleeps with <sighs> twice a week to renew his covenant. Oh my God. Ah. This is serious. He made a covenant with a spirit being called Mohuru to do anything at any time with his family. He has surrendered his priesthood to that evil spirit. By now, all his children and wife ought to have been sacrificed to qualify him to contest and win the next governorship election of his state. But not to worry, they are all under my care now. Your friend lives by covenants and sacrifices. So, what do you want me to do now? Listen, let me tell you. Your friend is full of blood. <laughs> and many people have cursed him because of his wickedness. He has built houses he cannot live in because he wants to escape death. Where you are at the moment is a rented apartment. He has stolen money from the public, money for schools, roads, hospitals, and many more. More than 300,000 people have died directly and indirectly because of his greed and love for money. Yet, your friend is never tired of stealing. <sighs> This is a very serious matter. Many of the people who have suffered from his wickedness have laid curses on him in their pains. Mm. Those curses are speaking and raging. The covenant <sighs> he made with Mohuru is also speaking. Mm. Mohuru. Huh? Jesus have mercy. Lord, let your mercy prevail over judgment. Antonio, yes. your prayer is the only fuel that will move the vehicle of mercy to Badru. Remember, God does nothing except in answer to prayers.
Darling, darling, there's a knock at the door. There's a knock at the door. Who is it? Who is it? It's Antonio. I need to see you right now. Please, it's very urgent. Antonio? Badru, it's urgent. I'm coming. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, firstly, I want to apologize for, you know, waking you up at this dead of the night. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. No problem. Uh, we're Paul as well, Antonio. <sighs> I didn't know you had lost three children in the space of two years. I'm sorry about that. How did you know that? Don't worry about that yet. Now tell me. Who is Mohoro? <laughs> Who told you? Don't mention that name, please, because it might suddenly appear here. Please. How did you know? Who told you? <sighs> Bad. You have shed so much blood. And now they are returning to haunt you. You have killed and sacrificed so many human beings just to secure your seat in the house of reps. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Badru, you slept in a coffin for three days and three nights. Jeez. And now Mohuru is, is, is haunting you, pursuing you, because he cannot lay his hands upon your wife and your children. I mean, what is the essence of great wealth without Peace of mind. Without, without, without rest. Tell me. Antonio. Why did you decide? Why did you choose to sacrifice your tomorrow just because of today, my friend? Why? I just, at this juncture, I, I need your help. I need your help. It's true. Everything you said about me <sighs> is true and even more. But you, I'm, I'm shocked at this information that you have. You're not supposed to have this information. You're different from the Antonio I used to know back there on campus. You know, back then on campus, we we did many terrible things together. We, we destroyed, we raped, we did many, many bad things. But the words that are coming out of your mouth now shows me that you are a very, very different Antonio to that one. Because for you to know the things you know, shows me that you, you are in possession of a greater power than, than I have. And I need that power. I need that power to be able to defeat my enemies. It, it's a terrible world out there. I need, I need to be fortified. I need that power. I, I, I need a very strong power to be able to get rid of Mahuru. No, Badru. You do not need power. What you need is Jesus Christ in your life. And when you have him in your life, then you have access to unlimited power. Padre, this same Jesus saved me. He forgave me and he delivered me completely. 
I remember that day just as if it was yesterday. It was a young lady, beautiful young lady that I pursued to the church in Brazil. Hmm. But this young lady carried fire in her life. All the demons in me screamed and jumped out the day I mistakenly touched her. I was electrocuted by the power flowing through her. I was rolling on the floor screaming like a madman. She was the one that God used to lead me to Christ. A young girl? Yes. <sighs> That's is serious. Antonio. Badro. You mean I can be delivered? Oh, sure. Absolutely. You know what I'm going to do now? Mm -hmm. I want you to go upstairs, call your wife and children and bring them here. Tonight is a night of great deliverance for this home in the name of Jesus. I should bring my family. Yeah, go. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Badu, I am a crow. So you think you can just walk away from me like that? You must be really drunk and out of your mind. The covenant you made with me is of blood and not water. I command you, Moniki Shabu. You pay for the battle with your betty. You are spending money like water and you think it is ordinary? You must be really out of your mind. Mauro, Mauro, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Take everything that belongs to you in this house and leave me. I am no longer interested in our relationship. Do the money me Oshema? Abandon. Hurry up, Guru Baduru. Se panja le no le je beni. E se ti mo wa si le ni poto lo Oshema. Si pe le je le no le ju. Mo wa mo je bo ju me sakada. Brethren, we have to pray. It is obvious this is a spiritual warfare. We're going to lift up our voice in worship to the Lord. We're going to sing this song. There is power mighty in the blood. Power in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Power in the blood. There is power mighty He's bleeding. Let's take him to the hospital. <sighs> Madam. This is not an hospital issue, okay? This is spiritual warfare. Stethoscopes cannot detect demons. 
Brethren, we are going to pray. We are going to increase our prayer. Okay? The Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. We are going to pray to bring the blood of Jesus now. Open your mouth, begin to release the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Just stop it. Stop calling at me. And at me. Madra and I have an agreement. We have a covenant. We willingly walk into it. We give him what he wants in exchange for his soul. So just, just leave me alone. Ha! Leave me alone. Will you shut up? You foul demon from hell. I command you now, in the name of Jesus. Get out of him now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God. Man of God. Why are you disturbing me? Why do you want to disgrace me? Why do you want to chase me out of my house? I have legal ground here. So just, just leave me alone. Eskisa. Miu yoni leno. Emma yoni leno. You, you spirit of horror. Nobody here is interested in engaging in any conversation with you. Oh yes. You. We stand on the authority uh -huh. of the word of God. Oh yes. And right now we command you, we give you an order in the name of Jesus. Yes. Get out! Get out! Jesus. Get out! Get out. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Get out! Get out in the name of Jesus! Out in the name of Jesus! Out in the name of Jesus! Yes! Get out! In the name of Jesus! Yes! Out! In the name of Jesus! Let's begin to call out Holy Ghost Fire now! Holy Ghost Fire! Holy Ghost Fire! Holy Ghost Fire! Lift up your head, all you get. Then you lift your door, the everlasting door, that the King of Glory may come in. And who is this King of Glory? He is the Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you get. And be lifted up, all you shame to us. That the King of Glory may come in. And I said, who is the king of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. Therefore, I command you, for spirit, call Mahuru, get out of this house in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. As we were praying, I, I saw, I saw, I saw myself and Mr. Antonio in, in a house that, that looked like a shrine. And that spirit of Mooru was also there. Wow. And, and as we kept praying, I, I saw that an, an angel appeared Hallelujah. with a sword, a, a long sword. Yeah. And, and then that Mooru started to spin hey. and spin and it just disappeared with all his Jesus. properties. Disappeared? Yes, it disappeared. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Well, brother, Hallelujah. I didn't see anything. But that is an indication hmm. that the battle is won. Yes. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. That means that the altar of the kingdom of darkness in this house has been pulled down. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. What happened? Daddy, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just discovered that uh, I feel lighter. Huh? And there's, there's a joy within me. Huh? Jesus. What to me? Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, you, Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You reign, you reign, Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your truth. Well, and uh, so my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Your dad is also is a brother in Christ now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, we have to give all thanks to God. Indeed, he is a merciful and kind God. Mm -hmm. And as we can see, there is no sin he cannot forgive. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Well, thank, you. Mm -hmm. thank you so very much, Mr. Antonio, mm -hmm. for coming into this family. Your coming has brought an end to several years of sorrows, pains, and death. Thank my, you so much. We are grateful. My dear sister, I've got nothing to do with this. Let's give all the glory to God. Okay? He is loving. He is kind. He is merciful. I wish you came earlier. Before we lost three children. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Madam, it's all right, okay? It is well. Our God is a God of restoration. He will wipe away all your tears in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, Badro, that brings me to something very important we need to talk about. Okay. Yeah, there's a need for you to do what we call restitution. Yeah, yeah. Such that all the stolen monies and properties with you should be returned to the government. Because when people begin to know that you are now born again, there's a need for them to know that if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Okay? The Lord will teach us how to go about it. Yeah. Amen. But how are we going to cover our faces? The shame will be too much. Our opponents will use it against us in our subsequent campaigns. Leave shame alone, my dear. Leave shame. As it is now, I'm ready to shame shame itself. Mm -hmm. uh, Antonio, I'm ready to lose everything to Jesus. Just give everything, give my all. If I had died in my sins, I would have lost everything. So, what am I even holding on to? I've never felt this way before in my entire life. Mm. So much peace, so much calm, so much joy. I'm not ready to have any money that God has not given me. If I can practice politics with Jesus, let politics go. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. That's the spirit, my brother. That is the spirit. And uh, you know, the Bible says, um, godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm. Is that for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we're going to take nothing out of it. So, <laughs> that is in the Bible. Yeah. Where is it in the Bible? Uh, that should be 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you know what? <laughs> My own conversion experience was very tough. Yeah. Very, very serious. As a matter of fact, I was in prison for two years. Really? Yeah, by the time I came out to confess and return all the stolen goods and properties, I had to face the law. Although fortunately, the two-year term was reduced to three months. But I still went through it. All for Jesus. Yeah, and uh, you know, the lady that, led, that I told you led me to Christ, she was a very great help to me. <sighs> well, thank God for everything. Hmm. Yes, who is it? Samson, what do you want? Oga, uh, there's a woman at the gate. 
with her daughter. And let us stay with you. You can see we have a guest here. A, a woman. I should be here before. Yes, Oga, okay. you, you remember that woman that came with her daughter the other day, sir. Okay. Darling, must be that um, that widow that wanted to pay her daughter's school oh. fees. Please, um, let okay, her in. Wale. Let mm -hmm. her in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder what she's... I wonder what she wants. Well, I still want to hear that um, that your conversion story. It, it will be really, really interesting. All right, no, no problem. Ah, okay. So, no. <laughs> Madam. We have come to say thank you, sir. May God bless you. Amen. Please stand up. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. To God be the glory. Father did the exam and she passed very well. In fact, she was the best graduating student. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. So now that she has finished her exam, what's the next step? So that you can know how to help. She actually applied for scholarship in Brazil. And she has been shortlisted for interview next week, Tuesday. Please pray for us, sir. There are five on the list. And the scholarship, they are giving scholarship to just three of them. Wow. Don't worry, eh? We keep praying and God will take control. Amen. God will mm. do it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, sorry to interrupt your discussion with your guest. Mm. Sorry, madam, which uh, country did you say your daughter applied to? Brazil, sir. She wants to study mechanical engineering. Well, that, that's nice. That's nice. Um, which... Uh, um, Foundation, did you say she applied to? What's the name? I, I don't know, sir. It's all right, uh, but please, could you let your daughter talk for herself? Uh, young lady, what is the name of the organization or whatever? Antonio and Partners Scholarship Foundation, Sao Paulo, Brazil. All right. Um, just a minute, please. <laughs> Sorry, is your name um, Temita Temita De Bewaji Bolon or something like that? Yes, sir. Now, how did you know my name? Well, <laughs> you are speaking with um, Antonio, the senior partner of the uh, scholarship foundation. Wow! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow! So wow. I think it's uh, safe to say you don't need to go for any interview from mm. this place. Wow. Okay? Praise God! You just wow. got yourself a scholarship. Oh, oh, yes! Wow. Amazing! Ah! Wow! 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 Thank you! 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 Wow! Oh, get up, get up. You are becoming Congratulations. Your prayer just goes outside. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, it's all right. We thank God. We thank God. So, uh, maybe you just wait for us outside, okay? Yeah, you can just wait outside. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Samson. Yeah, we thank God. Please don't go because you will need to follow me to the office from here, okay? Just wait for us. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yes. See the way God works. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we'll thank thank God. So much. Uh, uh, but please, it. if you don't mind, Badru, I would like you to go out with me, okay, to the office. There are still a lot of things we need to talk about. Okay. No, no problem. I have that in doing today and tomorrow, so no, that, that, that won't be a problem. Uh, you know what? As I was talking with that woman, mm -hmm. I had a very strong impression in my mind that your entire family ought to relocate to Brazil for some time while all this, you know, dies down. Brazil? Uh, what do you think? Daddy, I actually don't mind if you ask me. Tulu, you and your obsession with foreign countries. Before Uncle, who is staying this Nigeria? Ah uh ah. -uh. Nigeria, the giant of Africa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> <clears throat> ah. I play to Nigeria, my country. <laughs> oh, Benny. <laughs> to be faithful, loyal, and honest. To serve Nigeria with all my strength. You brought in the man in white to chase me out of my house, my own house. Angel of the chain, 
Many of my colleagues have distanced themselves from me since the press conference. Well, you shouldn't be surprised. I mean, <laughs> men have always loved darkness and light, so... Honestly, this has been a very difficult moment for the family. Even the chieftaincy title has been taken away. So what next now? Honestly, I don't know. It is well. The Lord will teach us what to do. Ah. Daddy, I'm, I'm not sure we can go back to that school. The press conference you did has gone viral it's on YouTube, on Twitter, on different blogs, everywhere. Dad, why did you do it? It has taken me a lot of courage to be here today. To make an open confession that I, Honorable Badro Kikiola, used my position to steal public funds. I used my political position and my authority, the authority vested in me by the good people of this country. I used it to divert public funds into my personal account. And I've used them to acquire different properties within and outside this country. <sighs> Many of you may be wondering why I'm here today and why I'm doing this. Yes, it is because I have had an encounter with Jesus Christ. I have uh, given my life to Jesus and He is now my personal Lord and Savior. And he is the one who has instructed me to do this today. He has instructed me to return all that I've stolen. And that is what I'm doing now. 
By this conference, I, Honorable Badru Pitiola, thereby forfeit all properties gotten with illicit fund and hand over same to the right owner, which is the government and the good people of this nation. All necessary papers and documents have been prepared for immediate handover to the government. I have asked God to forgive me and um, I thereby use this opportunity to ask for forgiveness from the good people of this nation. But having said that, however, I'm ready to face whatever the court of law in this land may decide. Thank you. And may God bless this nation. I'll 